हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑर्गेनाइजर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर हाउ यू कैन चेंज द स्टेटस ऑफ ए ट्रांसपोर्ट रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम रिलीज टू मॉडिफाई एपल वी ऑल नो वेन एवर वी आर क्रिएटिंग ए ट्रांसपोर्ट रिक्वेस्ट द स्टेटस इज मॉडिफाई एपल इनिशियली after that you are releasing that transport request if the status is modifiable you can go for respective changes with that transport request you can add the object you can delete the object but if the status is released once the status is released you cannot add or delete the objects with that from that particular transport request so this topic is all about if by mistake you released a transport request then we can again change the status to modify able but just think it is a critical process it's a critical step so whenever you are changing the whenever you are changing the status from release to modify able just make sure that because of this there should not be any inconsistencies between the system so firstly we will do the practical and at the last i will come on to the most most important point that in which scenario you should never never change the status from release to modify able because it will create inconsistencies between the system so firstly we will go for the practical then i will come on to the most important precaution at the last so what i will do i will go to sc09 transaction code and we will create a transport request suppose i will go for create button i will create a workbench request suppose i will give some development id suppose i am saying development 5 suppose we want to develop a simple domain okay so we'll just go for a very very small development that we want to create a domain suppose we will say domain for employee domain for employee id we are just taking a very small development i will go for say you can see this transport request number generated and the status is modifiable currently now what i will do i will create a domain i will go to sc11 transaction code and we will create a domain suppose i am saying z d o m employee we are creating a domain for employee i will go for create employee suppose domain is of numeric type and the length is 10 i will save this domain into package yes now it will ask for transport request go to own request choose this particular transport request and activating that domain so this domain is the part of this particular transport request this transport request so now as of now development is going on we need to go for creation of other things also but by mistake you released this transport request by mistake so suppose by mistake i am releasing this transport request so sub task released main request released so by mistake it happened i want to release the other transport request but by mistake i released this transport request now the status changed from modify able to released now sap provided a provision that i can again change the status to modify able so what are the steps for the same 
you can simply simply go to this program sap provided a program rddi t076 it is a sap program now i will simply execute this program now it is asking for request or task so what is the second step you have to pass the request or task number so we will simply simply put this request this is the request which by mistake we released i will put this request transport request we'll go for execute now it is showing this is the main request and this is the sub task under that request you can see this is the main request and this is the sub task under that request now what is the third step you can simply simply select and change the status from released to modifiable from r to d we will go for the process i'll just go this is not the request this is the request i will double click i will go for change button and i will change the status from release to modifiable d means modifiable same so main request status changed to d similarly i will change the sub task also now the status changed from r to d we will go for save now you can see we change the status from released to modifiable if i will refresh this particular transport request so as of now just see it is released once i will refresh you can see it will again become the part of modifiable modifiable now our request is again modifiable we can add the or delete the objects with this particular transport request so sap provided the specific steps which you can follow to change the status now the most most important point we should never never blindly change the status from release to modifiable again it's a very critical step and it might create inconsistencies between the system just go for a simple understanding in the development system you created the transport request status is modifiable and you release the transport request basis person imported this request into the quality system so in the quality system this request is imported and why it imported because the request is released now in the development system you are changing the request to modifiable see in the quality system the request imported because it is released but in the development system if anyone will see he will simply say the request is modifiable so it's a lots of inconsistencies between the system so please please make sure that if the request is already imported to other system so in that case always always avoid changing the status from release to modifiable because we should never never go for inconsistencies between the system and anyone will be simply simply confuse how this request number imported to quality if it is showing as modifiable in the development system because you change the status that's why because of that there is a inconsistencies between the system yes it's a very easy process it's a very helpful process if by mistake you want to release something and you release something else then you can use these steps to change the status to modifiable again but you must be very sure that it should not create the inconsistencies between the system so that's it in this particular video thank you